morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you've all had a really really great week today i thought i would do a little bit of a baby haul um so this is going to be like toys and interactive and sensory things and just bits and pieces that i've picked up for finley um a lot of the bits and pieces are a little a little bit too old for him at the moment um with the idea being that obviously he's now he's gonna be three months on wednesday um so he's sort of moving, I feel like, into the next sort of age range, I guess. Like, he's obviously moving into three to six months clothes. A lot of the toys and stuff, they're three months plus. Um, there's a possibility he might start teething soon. So I bought all these bits and pieces so that as he develops, um, we've got bits and pieces in the house that he can play with um, and that we can use for him around the house. So, yeah, I thought I would just show you all the different bits and pieces that I picked up because some of them were... Um, quite good bargains I think and I've saved a little bit of money and also I'm hoping that you'll be able to give me some recommendations as to what your babies have enjoyed or what you've heard is really good um, so yeah that's that's sort of the idea for this video I am trying to do a few different type of videos nowadays um, I'm trying to be a little bit more creative um, and obviously now I'm on maternity leave I've got a bit more time to film I say that um, in these sleeping at the moment but I think he's stirring so um I don't know how long that will last but basically um if there's anything that you would like to see then just let me know obviously I'm a first time mum so everything is completely new to me um and I'm just sort of muddling my way through basically and I just thought it'd be fun to share it on here whether it be the things that we get up to or the things that we go out and do as a family and do vlog type videos or whether it's just showing you what toys I've picked up what clothes I've picked up um, whether you want to see baby updates um, obviously like I said in my update video my life update video um, we spent the first good few weeks in hospital and then I was coming home and trying to recover and things like that so we are a little bit behind and we are only just sort of finding our feet and getting used to everything so there obviously won't be any early baby updates but I could do them from three months onwards if anyone's interested in that um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like to see and if you've got any recommendations of things I should pick up for Finley. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now and show you what I've picked up. Okay, so Finley has now um, woken up a little bit and he's dead. So I've put him in the carrier so that he can carry on having a good nap. And I'm just going to stand here with him in the carrier and do it because it'll be so much easier. Um, but I'm not going to pull these out in any type of order. Um, these are just things that I've picked up for him. Um... So one of the first things is this um, rattle. Now, like I said at the beginning, some of them are obviously a little bit too old for me at the moment, but I thought I would start getting stuff and putting it away, and then we've got it in the house to try when he might want to start playing with things and using them and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's this rattle that's got like um, little beads in it that you can tip upside down and it makes lots of noise and things like that. And um, I bought this from a shop, and I'm sure it's called the Toy Shop, but I'm not entirely sure. So what I'll do is I'll try and find them online, and I'll link them in the description box down below in case anyone's interested. Um, because the Toy Shop itself was actually really good, it was really reasonable. Um, and I was quite surprised at how cheap some of the toys were. And I also picked up this one, which it says it's from 9 months plus, but I'm guessing... As soon as they're sat up, they could probably play around with it and things like that. But it's like this activity triangle. Um, and it's got just all different little things on it for them to play with. Um, and I thought that was really good, really. Um, and I think this was £8. And this was 4 I also picked up these Tommy eggs. Now, I've heard so many good things about these. Um, everyone has recommended them, but basically they're, they're sort of colour matching, um, shape matching, and they've got sounds as well, and they come in just like a little egg box, and loads of people I know that have got them. Um, they're safe for six months plus, and obviously they'll be for as he gets a little bit older. But yeah, these have been really recommended, so I'm excited to give them a try. Oh, I think they were eight pounds i think in the toy shop um and i think they're the same price on amazon and slightly more expensive if you get them from argos um but sometimes they have offers on where you can get multiple toys i think for a cheaper price um so what i'll do is i'll link them down in the description box below um from where i can find them 
Something else that I picked up was a tummy time book. We try to do tummy time every day. Um, he is holding his head up quite well now and he is starting to lift his knees and things like that. So I just want to encourage him to sort of stay on his tummy a little bit more and let his head and neck get a little bit stronger. Um, so this I found on Instagram that was recommended by somebody called Mummy Nutrition and she's absolutely fantastic. I'll link her down below as well because um, I really enjoy her Instagram page. It's really informative, really helpful and just has loads of like mum chat on there. Um, and she's really down to earth, really genuine. But um, it's a tummy time book. So this I got from Amazon and I think it was around six pounds. But basically, I'm gonna have to stand back now to be able to show you this. It just flips out and you get to tie it and it has all different things on it that they can, you put it in front of them and they can look at it and play with it and things like that. Um, and I thought that was really good. It's got loads of different colors. It's got like felt liners and things that they can touch and reach out and play with. So I thought I'd give that a go for six pounds. Something else that I picked up recently is a new sleeping bag. Um, in this house, we are obsessed with sleeping bags. I find them so much easier than blankets during the night. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable using them personally um, because I feel like he's not gonna get stuck underneath them or anything like that and I don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, this is a more lightweight one and the color's gonna go crazy now, but it's this blue and white pattern. There you go. So yeah, it's a lightweight one. Um, this is 0 to 6 months and it was £12 from Matalan. And I think this one is, um, does it say? Normally they say what tog they are. I think this is a one tog because the other one I've got is a two and a half, I think. And that one is a little bit too much at the moment. Yeah. Um, definitely, definitely recommend these. They are so easy. Basically, this just and unclip this, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just a little baby sleeping bag. So yeah. And they have zips on the side too, so that if you change them during the night, you don't have to take them out or anything, you just completely unzip the bottom. You can change them and zip it back up again. Now these I found in Aldi the other day. They were on offer, they were in like a little clearance section and they were only 2 .99. So I'm not sure if Aldi is still gonna have them, but you can buy them online. Um, from places like Amazon and stuff like that. Um, but they are the, they're called the Fruitsicles and basically they're like, um, what are they, um, <laughs> trying to think of how to explain them. But basically they're like mini ice lollies, so you can make mini ice lollies or there is like a little mesh in there that you can put frozen fruit in and they can suck on them. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see this one's got the mesh in the bottom. But yeah, so basically, um, I've bought these obviously ahead of weaning. We've still got a couple of months until we'll probably start weaning. But um, I also thought I could make some breast milk ice lollies while it's still quite hot, um, just to sort of cool him down a little bit and soothe his gums as he starts teething and things like that. So I thought I'd get them and it's just handy to have them in the cupboard really. Something else that I picked up in Aldi was this um, little cool bag. Um, it's just sort of just like a little rectangle um, cool bag. I think this was about 2 99 as well. And this is just in case I have to take any express milk out with me. Um, I now have the LV pump, which I think I'm gonna do a whole different video on altogether because I have two breast pumps. Um, one of them was around 36 pounds and it's absolutely fantastic. For the money, I would highly recommend it. It's a double electric pump. Um, and it is really, really good. Um, but I've also bought the LV as well, so um, obviously that is a complete opposite end of the spectrum, um, and it's quite an expensive pump, but I will do a review on both of them because they both are very, very good, and there is one reason why I bought the LV pump, but it does mean obviously I can take it with me on the go. Um, so if I express while I'm out, I need to be able to keep it cool, or if I'm going up to my mum's and I wanna take some express milk so that either somebody in my family or Brian's family can feed him, then I've got something to take it in. As I mentioned earlier, um, I think that he may start teething soon. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Obviously he's three months now and it'll be a little bit, a little bit longer I think, I hope for his sake. Um, but obviously I wanted to start getting bits and pieces to have it in the house so that if we do have it and it's 
like at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night, then we have something that we can just grab and use. Um, so I went into Asda's and I picked up a few of the different teething bits. Um, so this is the Asda's Little Angels Toothing, toothing? Soothing Animal Teethers um, that look like this. Um, and these are all sterilizable. You can put them in cold water sterilizer. You can put them in the fridge to make them cold. Um, and there's different bits to um, different teether types depending on what teeth are coming through and which ones are hurting them the most. Um, so yeah, there's that one. I think that one at the moment might be a little bit heavy for him to hold, so we would have to help him. But I think that was around four pound. And then I also picked up some other ones as well. Yeah, I picked up this one, which is slightly smaller. Again, that is three months plus, and that is a much smaller ring. Um, and it's um, again, that one's got three different surfaces on it for different teeth, so front, middle, and back teeth, depending on what is hurting them the most. Along the teething lines, I also picked up these um, bandana teether bibs, and I saw these on a friend's baby the other day. And at first, I was really confused as to what it was. Um, clearly, first time mum issue, because um, I'd never seen these before, but they are bibs that have a little rubber bit on the end so that they can sit and chew on that and obviously the bib catches all the dribble um, and things like that so but yeah it's got a teething corner um, I don't know if you'll be able to see these I don't know if you can tell but this little plastic bit here and at the bottom is um, for them to chew on I don't know if you can see the little picture of the little girl at the bottom but yeah, and these come in three different designs um, and they're reversible as well. Um, so I've got the blue and red ones, it's got like fire trucks and things like that on it. It comes with like a flowery pattern um, and then a grey, white and black pattern if you want something more kind of neutral. Okay, so two more things that I've picked up recently um, are more, again, play intended. So these are actually quite big items, I think I'll have to stand back to be able to show you these. Okay, so this is the first one. I don't know if you can really tell what it is but basically it's a foam flooring um, that's like a jigsaw puzzle and it connects together and I'm trying to think how big is this I can't remember how big it was but basically um, I'm finding that because he's awake a little bit more during the day now obviously he wants to be entertained a little bit more which is absolutely fine but our house doesn't have um, a lot of floor space because we have a coffee table and quite big sofas and things like that so what I think I might do is move the coffee table out of the way put these on the floor and then I can lay out his play mat and his toys and I can change the toys around and things like that and it also means that if I need to like nip into the kitchen I can lay him on the mat and I know that he's going to be safe um, as opposed to having to put him in his chair and strap him all in and things like that because sometimes I find that like if the postman knocks on the door, um, then by the time I've grabbed the keys, put him in his chair, strapped him in, gone to the door, um, the postman's already halfway down the street basically. So I just want somewhere that he can play, that he's going to be safe, that I can get his toys out, I can change the toys around to keep it interesting for him. Um, so yeah, this is basically just a, a foam mat. It is designed for a gym and it was 7 99 for the set of four. But um, I thought it would be it'd be perfect for toys. Ideally, I would have liked a coloured one, but obviously because it's for a gym, they only have black. And this was from Audi as well. Um, and the only other colourful children's one I could find had all the numbers and letters or something like that that were cut out foam in the middle. And I didn't know if they would all start falling out and it would just be a bit annoying. I couldn't find just plain coloured ones. So I do have obviously play mats and blankets and things like that that I can lay on it um, so it won't really all be black and boring. Basically it's an outdoor tent that you take out of the packaging and it sort of pops up um, and it's got an open section on it so that you can um, keep your baby in the shade and they don't, they're not in direct sunlight but obviously where it's open it means it doesn't get too hot in there for them and they can still get the breeze as it's coming through. Um, I'll try and do a little bit of a cutaway so you can see what I mean. Um, and again, I'm, I'm sure you'll see me putting this up in a vlog at some point, but basically it goes in this little carrier, you can take it away with you, um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be nice because at the moment we have a south facing garden that is an absolute sun trap. Now for me and Ryan it is absolutely fantastic, we love it, 
um, because we enjoy the heat and we enjoy being in the sun. Um, but obviously with a baby it's completely different so I wanted somewhere at the moment that we could go out there and play because I can't really take it, there's no shade in our garden whatsoever so there's nowhere really that I can sit with him so I find that we're stuck indoors on the days that are nice um, so yeah I've picked that up and I'll give that a go um, and then I've got one more thing with that in mind as well and that is these bubble wands I picked up two of these, they were two for a pound again in the toy shop Obviously Finley's not going to be able to use this himself, but I thought he might be quite interested to see the bubbles when we're out in the garden. It's just another sensory thing for me to try with him. Um, I'm looking for all different ideas of things that he might enjoy playing with, or things that he might find interesting and like to see. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give those a go as well. Okay, so that is all the bits and pieces that I've picked up for Finley recently. Um, they're all, like I said, they're all sort of toys and sensory and things that we hopefully can use with him. Um, and some of them are a little bit old, I do know that. Um, but hopefully, obviously, as he gets a little bit older, we'll have a few bits in the house for him ready for him to play with. But yeah, like I said, everything will be linked down in the description box below. Um, I'll try and put as many um, links to different places where you can buy the things from. Um, but yeah, I also have lots of different clothes that I've bought him recently that are in three to six because he's about to go into the next size so I'm tempted to do maybe a clothing haul as well if you'd be interested in that maybe um, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that but I think that is everything I hope you've enjoyed this video please 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 let me know if you've got any recommendations of anything else that I should pick up for him or things that you think he would enjoy um, something else that we are planning on getting soon is probably a jumperoo um, because I think he would absolutely love that and I think he would find that quite interesting so that will be something that we are keeping our eyes open for at the moment um, but yeah if you think of anything else let me know in the comments because I'd love to know what you guys use obviously first time mum here no idea what's good and what's not so I'm happy to give things a go especially if they've been recommended um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye guys